how to add members area on Squarespace. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to add a members only page and contents and also manage your members in Squarespace. So the first step that you need to do is you add a member sites over here. As you can see here, I already have a member site set up with the pricing plans and paywall already set up and I'm going to explain to you how to do so in a minute. All right, so you want to add your member sites and you want to start with a members homepage. So here I've created a new member site. Let's just call this the believers. And in this page, I can set, first of all, I need to set the pricing plan. So let's just do that. Um, right now so let's create the pricing plan and for this I'm going to make this the just the believers and the believers plus uh, you can also set your description and benefits included also here you can set your pricing to fixed amount a one-time upfront payment a subscription or do you want to set it as a free membership in this case I'm just going to set it as a subscription with my local currency here and also I want to add uh, I can also add a subscription option so if I want this to be um, monthly or yearly I can do that maybe I want to do it yearly with a bit of a discount here I can also do that so this suits uh, most situations well and also I can now create a subscription with the name believers so let's go ahead and do that and now I have a believer subscription I can also create a new subscription maybe with a different um, payment scheme or also with a different benefits of course so let's just call this believers plus and let's add also maybe like a preview of my work in progress all right let's call it that and you can do pricing as we did before let's click create all right now we have two pricing plans and we have our play uh, pricing plans uh, set up for our believers members page here we can also add and customize the paywall for your uh, site visitor to see if they haven't logged in or they haven't signed up to your subscription so as you can see here you can set up this paywall and you can edit it just like other um, other pages also you can um, add pages to your member site so at this time I'm just going to leave it like so you can also add a, your course here and you can also add your uh, blog or videos if you're having a video course that also will suit perfectly for this situation all right so for now let's go back okay so now you have a member site then what so I'm going to add this member site in my home page. Now, this is just so that the visitor can know that I have a subscription. Previously, I've did the same with the my sound check here. My sound check is on the bottom here, so when they click go to sound check in my home page, they can go directly into the sound page sound check uh, page. If they have already subscribed, they will have uh, access to this site. But if they don't have any subscription, they will meet the paywall like I've set up here, as you can see here. So pretty simple, right? All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's add the believers page to our home page. To do that, it's just like any other page. Let's edit this. And you know let's add a believers uh, section so let's add section here um, let's do the services 
template and for this I'm just gonna skip the whole wording and I'm going to make this the believers um, button where it will uh, transport the viewer to my believer subscription page all right now all right we need to attach the believers link so let's just go back here real quick and let's go to our believers page very quick all right okay let's go to our believers page and okay let's go to this home page over here and we can copy that and then let's go back to our home page and attach the link as you can see it haven't it hyperlinks directly to soundcheck but that's really not what we want so let's go back just a sec Go to home page real quick wait it's still loading let's see all right we're back to our home page now let's add the link to this button here my mistake I think we should add a space here to be more tidy all right now once we've had access to the link here let's attach this link and it should work all right let's click save and let's check it out all right let's go ahead down and go to believers and as you can see here it transports us into the believers site wait a minute does take a little time to load there you go now it has a member site homepage here yeah it should go to this homepage which is the believers page now another thing that your members can do is they can log in to your website and there they will have their subscription saved so if they log into your site they the site can remember that they have a subscription in which sites. So if they try to access the believers member site or the sound check believers the sound check site, uh, if they have a subscription going on, they won't have the access to uh, the paywall because they will have access to the content straight. So I'm now I'm going to show you what you can do in the member site itself. Of course, you can add pages like you would normally have. And you can also add courses as a part of the membership. So if you have a course and usually it's paid, a one-time paid, in the members page, you can make it as included in the members subscription. So in this case, I have a course here and maybe I will put it in my uh my site uh, shop for it to be sold directly at a fixed price as usual and i will include it in my membership of the uh, soundcheck membership so the subscribers in the soundcheck membership can access to this course uh, as long as they still have the membership all right so that's all for the member sites in upwork um, one more thing to note here is that you can manage your members. Okay, so now how do you able to see your members list and manage your members? So to do that, go to selling and products. Your subscription will be loaded in the digital products and the products menu here. And as you can see here, you can see the uh, subscriptions that I have currently and the list of members here to edit your pricing plan and to manage members you can just click the burger bar on the right hand side of each subscription plan and that's pretty much it thank you